Uh, okay, this is it. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Mario Tonti, everyone. Mario Tonti. Huh. Mario Tonti. Here we go. Here comes Mario Tonti, ladies and gentlemen. People always tell me I'm creepy. (laughs) I used to believe them, but I recently discovered the comment section on Pornhub. Turns out I'm normal as shit. A few nights ago, I could hear my neighbors fucking while I was masturbating to porn. So I just finished to the sound of them having sex, which still felt less creepy than Brad Niner 1276 that said, love when he was drilling her missionary with her legs spread. Thanks a lot, Brad. Like, you couldn't just come and that be the end of it. Like, I've jerked off probably a million times and never once was I like, you know what, this needs a review. (laughs) Like, after my neighbors finish, I just yell out the window, great job, love how you took his cock. (laughs) I grew up with a really racist grandfather, but I was a kid, so I was too young to know that it was racist. So up until I was 10 years old, I thought there was actually a family of raccoons living on a porch down the street. Thank you. There you go, Mario Tonti. Welcome, welcome, Mario. Thank you. Have you been on this show before? Yeah, like a year ago, a couple times. A year ago, a couple times. Yeah, I sort of remember that. What what did we find out about you then? What do we know about you? I'm a sous chef. Oh, that's right. Uh Uh-huh. So how's life been going? What's changed since the last time we've seen you? Uh, I got a new job, and I fucking hate it. What's your new job? Another sous chef. Another sous chef. (laughs) Have you ever uh, thought about being chefs for people other than Indian tribes? I I tried, but they they want you to have experience. So so dumb. (laughs) Um, Wow. So is your... your, uh, is your boss tough? Like I notice in a lot of those kitchens, the executive chef tends to rule with an iron fist. Yeah, he's a he's a different kind. He's a he's a monster. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Those are always it. crazy jobs. It's like I'm 36. I don't need that bullshit anymore. So. <sighs> I know. So are you gonna leave? Are you gonna? I'm trying, man. But there's no fucking jobs in this city. It's all the same. It's all it's all the same. Bull- too many restaurants. It's the yeah. same bullshit. Yeah. They all want to like reinvent food, and it's like it's fucking it's. It's done. Like, you eat it, you <laughs> shit. You know? Wow. You eat it, you shit. That should be your... That's it. That's food. I want to invest in a restaurant and have that That's be my the slogan. Rest- That's going to be my restaurant. Eat and shit. Yeah. You eat it, you shit it. <laughs> it's great. Just tell them their whole future. It's like a psychic and a restaurant at the same time. I always Poop. thought that would be a good diet is just eat and then don't eat again until you shit. That is... Th- you have to eat. It's like a night, like you're... Body's like a nightclub. You let you let some people in. Right. And it's full, and you don't let anyone in until yeah. people leave out out the back door. Yeah. And then you get to eat again. That's an interesting uh, policy. I wonder how that would actually uh, work because you have to eat more than you poop. Slightly. <laughs> Just like a little bit more. I have Crohn's, so if I ate every time I shit, I'd be fucking. You'd huge. be eating a lot. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, how bad's the Crohn's? I don't even know. I had an operation like 10 years ago, and they took out some intestines, and I don't take medication for it. I just, I don't even know if I have Crohn's still, but that's what they oh, said. Oh, interesting. So like does, it, does it ever get inflamed? No, I just shit a lot. How many times wow. do you shit a, like a day? As much as you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so th- 37 <laughs> times? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. As much as like general people or actually Red Band, because yeah, those actually, are two different, you. very different numbers. I, I mostly shit liver, so it's uh, nothing. <laughs> All right. What do you do for fun, Mario, uh, when you're not chefing? Uh, I try to go to a lot of concerts, uh, comedy shows. That's What's the last concert you went to? Uh, every time I die at the Greek with Coheed and Cambria. Every time I die, I don't know who that is. Is that like uh, that's like it's one like of those a hardcore like band. hardcore? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, huh? All right. Do you dress different when you go to those concerts? No, I'm over that. Wow! Hell yeah, man! You just fucking own it. Yeah, I'm too old, I'm too old to what dress. What makes you happy, dude? You seem fucking... I don't know, man. Uh, this, coming here, yeah. this place, I don't know. Smoking weed makes me happy some, sometimes. Sometimes. There you it's, go. It's starting to not. It's starting to You ever boring. smoke? 
you ever smoke weed and do anything crazy afterwards? Anything fun or uh, interesting or exciting? You have any fun hobbies that uh, you like to do after smoking pot, or even maybe not even? Smoking? I got a question. What's up? What's the craziest thing you've ever seen in a kitchen? A cat. Like asparagus. Either di- no dirty stuff, bad, you know, any sort of. All right, so like a like a couple weeks ago, this kid we worked with, he's he's the dumbest kid I've ever worked with in my life. I've never seen this ever, and he he was sick that day, and he's he was a like a like a spacey idiot, and he blew his nose, and I was like waiting for him to see if he was gonna wash his hands. He blew his nose and then like wiped his table down like that. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, nothing wow. too gross, but like just <laughs> yeah, nothing <laughs> too gross. That's the other thing. No, the the the, the, the talent in the in the industry is. And in what's the, the what's ground. the name of the restaurant you work at? <laughs> no, just don't do what, it. What no. what, what, it, what do you consider too gross, by the way? Because that's pretty disgusting. Wiping boogers on oh, the yeah, table. Oh yeah, that was disgust. Yeah, uh, that's that's about my my limit. I almost fired him for that, but I can't. You almost fired him <laughs> for that. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Wow, Listen, you're, you're real hard nose, buddy. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> My goodness. Mario, what's your love life like? Uh, there isn't one right ah. now. Uh, there, there was a little while ago, but there's not now. Um, had a, a couple Tinder hookups. Those, are, those, yeah. those were. How about whatever. the one that was a while ago that isn't anymore? What happened there? Uh, she left me for her ex boyfriend, and then. Wow. We kept hooking up for like a year, and then while she was with her ex-boyfriend again. Yeah. Maybe Look at year, you, you little side piece, huh? Yeah, Look no. at you. Nobody that's better than keeping a secret than you. It's not a good situation. It fucks with your head even more, you know. Oh, because you have feelings for. Her. Uh, no, but like. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, y'all. you have feelings <laughs> for. Her, dude. Not anymore. <laughs> She's with some other dude. That's crazy. Yeah, but that other dude is her ex-boyfriend. So when he saw. That she left him for the ex-boyfriend. He said, "I see a pattern here. Mm-hmm. She fucks her ex-boyfriends. Ah, I'm in luck. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you're still in there. How many more ex-boyfriends do you think she has in the rotation? Who knows? I don't care. Anymore. And do you think they all look like uh, Beatles <laughs> reenactors? Probably. <laughs> John Oliver. They all, show, they all show up to dates on bird scooters. This is this week tonight. All right. So you watch a lot of porn. It sounded like. What's your What's your Google search for porn right now? Yeah. <sighs> Man, the fucking the throat fuck stuff. You know. The what? The throat fuck stuff. I'm sorry. Throat fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> throat you, fucking, you know. Wow, you love that, huh? What's I your favorite up, part? I looked up that time stop shit. Yeah, that was yeah. fucking weird. Did you get into dude? that time no, stop shit? You weird. know that thing that you said you were worried about being creepy? You're definitely back to being creepy. Hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna own it then. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> throat fuck. Wow, oh, I like interracial. That came time out of stuff. nowhere. Sometimes it's like it, it's like getting to that. It's like you run out of shit and you're like, all right, I guess I'll just watch him get banged by big black guys now. You know? Fuck oh it. my yeah. goodness! Wow, what is happening? Why do you think it is that you prefer to watch a woman get uh, gang banged by black? I don't men? prefer that. It's just you know. Now you let's talk about it here for a second, Mario. I, I, like I want to talk about. I know, but I want to talk with Mario about this. I want to see if this goes back to any you know, psychology issues or anything like that. Uh, so when you see black men railing a white female porn star, how does it make you feel? Angry. <laughs> no, no. No, detective, no. I specifically, I'm trying to get Mario's <laughs> honest responses here. You guys are misbehaving over there. Do, uh. you, do you watch this porn with your grandfather? No, he's dead. Hmm. Because he saw you watching this porn. Yeah, probably. What the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Why do you think it is? Why do, uh, let me ask it so more broadly so that you'll answer it. Why do you think it is that white guys like watching white women get railed by black guys? So I want to hear from you why you think that might be. Choose your words wisely. Why do you think white men like watching white women get railed by black men? Why would that be? Because I like it? Because you like it. No, the question is, why do you think people like it? I know you like it. I don't know. It's kind of hot, right? I don't but know. Wha- 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 why do you think it's hot? <laughs> because I got big dicks. I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he almost went all the way. There was a lot of passion behind it. Because they got big dicks that I secretly want to suck, okay? Like, what? Oh, my God. All right. 
Heck yeah, you got Aphrodite all wound up over there. Look like at her. Squirting everywhere. She's like she's like she's like big black dick Beetlejuice, but you only have to say big black dick once to get activate her. <laughs> big black dick. What? Who where? Huh? What the fuck? What is going on? All right, Afro, relax, relax. All right, Mario. Well, is comedy going good for you? It's your only outlet, it seems. Yeah, it's the only I'm thing you to, really I'm, love. I'm trying to get more into it. I'm still in that scared You're doing a lot of spots? Phase. No, not more. I need to do you more. work at night. I need to do more. I'm trying to get into it. What do you work, more. five nights a week at yeah, the restaurant? So you only have two nights off. Yeah, One's mon Monday. Mon Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Huh. So yeah. what are you going to do tomorrow? Try to find a couple more to go to. There, yeah. there well, I go. think if you can just harness this ferocious energy <laughs> no, no, I and direct to it towards comedy, First it's going to be lights out. First thing get comfortable, then I'll get a personality. It's like you got to, I don't know, I'll figure it out, hopefully. Wow. Is there anything crazy, before I let you go, is there anything crazy about your life or a fun fact about you, maybe your parents or your grandparents or something that we'd be surprised to know? Suge Knight almost killed me once. Suge Knight almost yeah. killed you once. Yes. <laughs> With his big black dick? <laughs> almost. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When you said you liked gangbangs, I didn't realize this is what you were talking thug life, about. Thug life, dude. So uh, tell us how Suge Knight almost killed you before. Uh, a couple, of, like maybe four or five years ago, I was going to work. I worked in Century City in my last job. Uh, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. I stopped at a uh, gas station to get gas, and I saw him there. And he went into the store. And this I is middle of the night, you said? No, this is in the morning. Okay. 8 o'clock in the morning on like a Wednesday. Uh huh. Do you remember the gas station by any 76 chance? 76 gas station on Santa Monica in Beverly Glen. Yeah. Uh, so I, I waited for him to come out and he's, he's, I waited for him to start pumping gas and this is what he started to pump and I snapped a picture of him and as soon as I clicked the picture he looked right up at me <laughs> he, <laughs> he stopped pumping gas and got in his car and I drove away and he started to chase me around Century City for 15 minutes I ran three red lights um, wow he, he still chased me. Uh, How so did you know that he was chased? Did he yell something at you? Well, he, he, I, he, was, he was behind me. Like, he was, like, f like behind me. But at why the was it, what was he mad at you about? Because I took his picture. He's a psycho. Oh, uh, you so just randomly took a picture of him? Yeah. He's a great guy. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So and he chased you? He, he drove? He chased me in his truck. Not the one he killed people in yet, but <laughs> the, he chased me in his truck, 8 o'clock in the morning, um, Ran the, a couple red lights. I'm going to cut you off here. The detectives handed me this, uh, and uh, I'm going to ask you. It says police sketch at the top. They wanted me to ask you if this was the man. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a big black penis <laughs> that they drew. Uh, a little bigger. A little bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Oh. You're going to have to. Maybe get a full notebook. Wow. Look at that. Well, he almost killed you. And then what happened? So I went to go park. I went to the parking garage where I was working. I pulled in and um, I stopped at the gate. Is that is that how that works? Is it just like out of GTA? If you work in a I, garage, I you just so. pull in and the door closes, so and any trouble you yeah. were in I out there just would, goes away. Safe game. Yeah. I didn't think, he would, pull, I didn't yeah, think he would pull. I didn't think he would pull into the garage, and so he pulled in behind me, and I, I was like waving the attendant down. I was like, "Let me in. This guy's chasing me," oh. and he didn't chase. He didn't. He didn't open it. So he gets out of his car and walks up to my driver's side, and he's right here in my face. Oh, my God. And Windows I, up? Oh, I cracked my window. Like oh, you that cracked much. your window just like enough that. so that he could just see your smirmy, like, yeah. eyes? So, <laughs> so I was like, yeah. And he was like, all that for... Get your Verizon <laughs> guy ass up out that car. What did he say? So he said, all that for a picture? Oh, my God. God, that is the scariest shit Damn. ever. He just wanted to let you know that I he would have gotten yeah, you if he like, wanted to murder you. He just fucking chased me. He was like, just Was this a guy? <laughs> <laughs> they have three pieces of paper lined up. He has confirmed that is the guy. There he goes, Mario Tonti, everybody. Detective Charles, how you doing? Detective Charles, you went with your first name, or is that your last name? Last name, don't worry about the first. <laughs> okay, wow. Very secretive detective. All right. Well, welcome, welcome. Oh. oh, very jumpy. How about a hand for David Deary, everybody? Look yeah. at this guy. Doing the, doing the groundwork. He did a, uh, what kind of jump did you do today? on a, Yeah. 
Uh, I dropped in on a vert ramp. Okay, uh, you dropped in April on a vert 9th. ramp. Put the microphone down. April nobody, 9th. Thank nobody, you so much. nobody told you to grab a microphone. I thought you were just gonna Come on, say dude. it. I was gonna repeat it. Oh, you did a 1090. All right, there we go. All right, we got. Uh, so we have Detective Charles, and who's this uh, young Freddy Krueger man sitting next to you? Detective Dick motherfucking Bates. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I'm writing that one. Language, down. Dick. Language. Dick motherfucking Bates. And uh, back here, clearly, we have, uh, we have what appears to be a uh, barista at a Wild West saloon back in the 20s. Detective Jack Magnum. Wow. <laughs> and you know why. <laughs> Wait, why? They had, condom- they had Magnum condoms back then? Maybe. <laughs> wow. Would you like to find out? It's very exciting. His sexuality is still a mystery. (laughs) (laughs) And you might need that microscope. Yes, this is a microscope. (laughs) (laughs) God damn you, Speedweed. There is way too much marijuana in the green room. I know. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. (laughs) 